Salutations to foes. This is your fabulous leader, the Queen of Shade, coming at you with another special presentation. Moving right along, full speed ahead with these interviews. They're not really interviews. They're actually conversations that I'm having with people that inspire me, people that I inspire, people that I want to get to know, people that, you know, just are interesting, intriguing to me, and I want to talk to them. So with having said that, I have someone you need to meet. This young man is quite a handsome young man. And I came across him a couple of years ago on Twitter. And, uh, you know, Twitter allows a lot of things <laughs> to be seen. And I fell in love. And I'm just going to tell him I fell in love with him. So when I started <laughs> doing interviews, I was like, I need to talk to him. And fate would have had it that last night in the wee hours of the morning, he was checking his uh, Instagram DMs, and I saw him like something that I had said from like a year ago. It wasn't even recent. It was like a year, <laughs> was like a year ago. And I'm just going to tell you, I shot my shot. I was like, look here. Oh, I want to so interview you. And today we made it happen. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you all to Drippy. Hi, baby. Hey. I love you. I love, like, I really love you. Like, this is, it's bad. I'm talking to, like, I'm talking to my husband. That's who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. Just, it's a Sunday. I'm just that one chilling. Yeah, Sunday, fun day, lazy day. No, my day style, like, exactly. we were just talking about content. You and I both, we're content creators, like, we're crazy. And, uh, yeah, Sunday is the start of my week. So, boom, 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 back to back to back. <laughs> yeah, so, we're going to get to know you just a little bit. Nothing real crazy, nothing real deep. Um, let's do the first question. Where are you from? Where are you hailing? Well, where are you from and where are you hailing us from? That's two different, two different questions. So, let's start with where are you from? Where were you born? Uh -huh. So I was born in Annapolis, Indianapolis, Indiana. Wow. And then I was born and I was born in the DMV in Maryland. Really? So you're a DMV mm -hmm. boy. I don't know what it is about DMV people, but you guys are so business. Like you're so well, nice. one thing that like I can say is I'm uh, living, live, uh, well, I, I don't live there no more, but basically, um, but basically living in the DMV, the DMV is more fast paced. Like, yes. like the DMV is more business minded people because basically, because basically like, I ain't trying to shade though, but basically um, you cannot work at McDonald's and live that comfortably in the DMV. Like, right. I mean, for one bedroom apartment there, you're looking at like 12, 13. Woof. Yeah. So, so, so it's, it's literally that because it's the DMV area and you have the white house and you have all these government officials, the, it's very, very hard. Building. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get in there unless you are mover and a shaker. My exactly. God. So where are you hailing us from now? I am in Indiana currently. Um, I have multiple houses, so I'm just here right now <laughs> hey, i love you and i did i saw that you said you you have property and and you know it's just so crazy because god i just love to see black men doing it i just love to see black men doing it i just love it i love it i love it so tell us what would you say your overall occupation the title would be what do you what do you do what are you a business owner uh-huh. I like that. <laughs> and you have yeah, several business businesses, real estate being one of them. Um, but and and we're not gonna try to get up into all of your business, you know. No, no, that's not for the people to know. I don't mind it though, but hey. <laughs> but, not like... but one of the businesses that you found started and founded, I saw on Twitter. And that's how I came to love. Like I can like you don't understand. Let me just behave. <laughs> <laughs> let me just behave let me just behave like like let me behave see this is see this is the only problem when you have when you do your content and everything yourself there's nobody to pull you in the corner and says you know it yeah, all. exactly yeah like exactly exactly like 
but I'm glad, I'm glad because I get to tell you how much I love you. So yes, you also, as an entrepreneur, you are in adult entertainment. Yeah, ish. Because basically ish. one thing, because yeah, one thing that like, I can say is this year, I actually did stop because of- um, So that was, okay, it, okay. Yes, like I actually did stop because like there's a lot of things that like, I'm working on, a lot of things that's going on for, for me as well and i'm about to start being start being in the public light a lot more to um to a bigger audience so yes. like i had to cut that um i had to cut that stuff out especially because like there's some things that there's some things that i have that's that's are coming as well yeah. to um to basically still keep uh the dripping name yeah. or brand out there yeah, so that's good. First of all, congratulations on your brand new ventures. And, oh, my, thing, and my thing is, it's it's always good when a man moves on. It's always good when something bigger and better comes along. I will mm -hmm. always remember you. You will always be immortalized that way. And and I look. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, like I just, I just, I look forward to seeing what's next for you. I look forward to seeing what's next for you because you, you know, I even, you know, it's really weird how energy is you can really like tell when a person is on a different type of time you know and yeah. i just mm -hmm. really like i really knew like i knew that you were on a different type of time because even when i saw you you surfaced and then disappeared and then i was like <laughs> I'm like, okay, something else going on here. <laughs> what is going on here? But now you tell me I'm working on Think Bigger Ventures. I have multiple properties. I'm, I'm in the DMV. I'm from, uh, you know, I'm the DMV area. So we're, we're movers and shakers. It's just amazing. So. Yeah, because basically coming from, because basically um, the main reason why I got into doing Tony Fans was to start my real estate business yeah. in the first place. Yeah. So then once I, I honestly made over $300,000 yeah. on that shit. Yeah. So basically, so basically, I transferred that money that I did from uh, OnlyFans into my business. Now, basically, I'm making more than what my OnlyFans is. Um, I own like how many businesses? I own, I own eight eight businesses now. Yeah. So, and then I'm working on some stuff for the Drippy brand. Yeah. So like, it's just like I basically encourage my con my content creators to basically to find other sources of income mostly mostly because like you will only be popping in that light for so damn long right. i mean like there's there i mean like just always do faces just always somebody that has a bigger ass or yeah. bigger dick like live blah blah, blah blah so basically you gotta get your money like are you lasting now yeah then put that money towards somewhere else so base it's so basically so basically that time comes like you like it's easy for you you just move on and you not missing no money. Right. See, you know what I love? I love that you are, you're coming with lessons, full lessons. You know, you're teaching all of us, you know, listen, it's the same way with, you know, other areas of entertainment because we're all colleagues. You know, I, music is my main thing, but I got into interviews and motivational speaking and empowerment and mentoring. Right. But like you said, it's because being in front of the camera is not something that's going to last. You know, you got to have other things. And even for me, you know, that's where my music comes in. That's where my books come in. That's where traveling and speaking at symposiums and, you know, doing actual physical work in the community. That's where that comes in. Because like you said, you know, now nobody can take my trademark. No, but there will be other people that pop up with inspiration and motivation. And, you know, you can exactly. do, you know, like, and there's room for everyone. There is. But, you know, even my grandmother is so funny. My grandmother says that to me too you know she always says you really only have about a decade you have about a decade it's a 10-year window and then you need it's not that you're going to drop off or anything like that but what you do is you start looking for other sources of income to replace and exceed what you were making and that's exactly i'm actually in that now i've given the queen of shades six years and now i am recalibrating all of my wheels and moving into other areas where i am actually able to make more money and that's what's going on and i love that you yes. come lessons i I'm, I'm glad that you come with lessons that's something yes 
Yeah, because basically, um, because one thing like I'm start doing is like I'm about to make another twenty fans, but basically that will be for me to teach yeah. about real estate. Yeah. Uh, cause real, cause real estate is very, it's very, very profitable. Like that's one. Yeah. That is one. That is one source. That is one source of income that every rich young person have is real estate. Cause like basically, like that's residual. That's that's that is residual income. Yeah. Then on top of that, like you mean you, you flip one house, you can make upwards of like the millions. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Real estate has always been something that has been um, a safe way to make money, you know, uh, or, and I don't want to say safe because it's a lot of risk. I want to say a solid way to make money. If you can, you know, invest and do what you need to do and then renovate and do this and do that. When you sell a house, like you can really, yeah, you can really make a lot of money. And I mean, is that like, I mean, is that plus rental properties? Cause like I have, ooh, how many properties I have? I have like 25 rental properties, mm-hmm. including including apartment buildings. No, it's more than that. I love I, it. He said it's more than that. Yeah. <laughs> you're a freaking, uh, you're, a, you're, not a, you're not an entrepreneur. You're a tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like, I mean, yes. I'm trying, like, I'm trying to be me. I, I'm just trying to teach my, my brothers and sisters. I like, yeah, like there's money out here for you to get, like, yeah. like, like get like to get out of your damn comfort zone and just that going just keep on pushing. Yeah. I have a friend too. He he did uh, adult entertainment for a number of years. And then same thing, properties, discipline. Like, like I just like he's so he's doing so well. Like he's like doing so well and he's off the radar. And I talk to him all the time. And you know, every now and then he'll send me a picture and he's like, what do you think? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, you still got it. You know, like that. <laughs> You know, like that, that's how kind of conversation we have. I'm like, you still got it. But he's like, yeah, he's like, I will put that in the bowl. You know, he, he has his own server. Like he, like, he's like, he's so self-contained and he travels a lot and own every, server. yeah, like his own server. Yeah. He built his own server for his, like, yeah, it's crazy. Like he, for the last, I want to say four years I've been talking to him and I've been talking to him for a long time because I've known him for almost 15 years but for the last four years he's like I'm fed up with America I'm moving out of the country but he's always saying that I'm moving out of the country and I'm like no I'm close to myself really where would you move if you could where would you move if you could if you could move out where would you go who where I go so I would either go to Fiji wow Costa Rica Mm -hmm. Paris is nice yeah um (laughs) I've been, like, yeah. This this people I know there. Especially yeah. to my brother, <laughs> like he lives there. Yes. Um, basically, I would go places where 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 Americans are mostly welcome, and the healthcare is good there, and yes, I'm able to live there that comfortably. You know what? You. This is why I do what I do. Cause you are just a beautiful surprise. You remember that song that India Irie made and it was called Beautiful yeah, Surprise. It was called Beautiful Surprise. You are a beautiful surprise. Like I love the fact that I'm sitting here and I get to talk to you and you're like, no honey, you need to be on your money. You need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. I need to be teaching. I need to be coaching. I need to be mental. And I'm like, I'm just so blown away because this is the thing, you know, people, we see you. And my thing is I have a lot of respect for all people in entertainment, but we don't like, really get right. to, Oh, okay. Hold on. Go ahead. Change it. Change it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> Look at you. Okay. You know what? <laughs> that's, that, that's you sure you want to move to Costa Rica? Cause you want me to live under a huge umbrella. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> he was like, that son is bright. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. No, but you are your beautiful surprise. And it's just, it's so great because, you know, I've, I haven't seen you do too many interviews. I haven't seen you sit down and do too many interviews. So there's people that try that try to get me doing, I don't do some, but some of them was just like, I don't want to be doing, I mean, like, one, like one, like just one and a few. Look at you, you laughing to yourself. This one, yeah, because this one person like wanted to do an interview, but wanted to talk about like literally my private, private life. Like, oh no, no, we don't do that. 
like not being private, like I mean like some questions I thought some questions I thought he was gonna ask off my social. Like that's oh, how no. it got. Oh no, 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 we don't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. No, and and you know what it is too? I think my respect for every person that comes to this camera with me is so high because I'm a person of notoriety. Like I, mm. like I, I know even when I interview and I, and that's the thing I, you, I was used to being interviewed and then I started to use the same gift of gab and I'm like, okay, I can talk. I, I know where I'm going. I can carry a conversation. That's what made me do it. But no, I, I would be very upset with someone asking me personal questions like that. No, I see that's, and that's the thing. Like, I, I don't like that because I like, first of all, okay. See, you don't, you don't start it. <laughs> first of all. This, the only reason why we interview is to push our brands. It's to expose yeah. other people's platform, their followers to our brand. That is the right. only reason we interview. So like, I, like I'll be looking at people and I'm like, uh... You know, like, cause I'm different. Like my thing is even when this is finished, it will render the MP4 and I send you your copy cause we made this together. We own it together. So I send exactly. you your copy. Yeah, I send you your copy. You get the audio, you get the video, the visual. I'm like, nah, do whatever you want with it. Post it on YouTube, make a coin, chop it up. Like, <laughs> like that's that's the point of, in, like, I'm, I'm not a, I've had a lot of hardship in my life as well. Let's say that. And a lot of my following knows that. My following knows that I live with mental illness. I have bipolar type one. I have PTSD from my childhood. It was a rough child childhood. I have Ooh. also, yes, I also have acute anxiety disorder. So, you know, panic attacks are something that if not, if I don't manage myself, I could have, and it could be very severe, but I've had therapy. Actually, yeah, go ahead. Actually, there's something that like I um that helped me because basically one thing that like I also like of course like basically everybody knows that like I do stutter, mm -hmm. but basically one thing that like I found that helped me was uh, meditating. So try uh, so I uh, try that. Um, also reason why I, also the reason why I say that is also because like I'm a paramedic though too. Like wow. I'm licensed. Yeah, so like I'm licensed for paramedic and firefighter. So basically like that's one way that I tell people, especially. I noticed that they are probably about to uh, like um, a panic attack. Is that yeah? So one thing that people um do not fully understand is your breath. Yes, is powerful. Yes, like breathing. Yeah, like meditating can heal your entire body, oh. and just just by breathing, like hey, can heal your entire body. Yeah. Like that's why I keep telling people like be more spiritual. Yeah. Like, um, like be more to yourself, um, basically benefit yourself more than you benefit Others. other people. Yeah. That's, so that's why my last, my last sweater, I, I believe it did for like, what, almost a year. Mm -hmm. um, basically, because basically like I was getting more into more spiritual awakening. Yeah. So yeah. then I did that. So I did, I did that. Then I basically was focusing more on myself. Yeah. And then basically, then I came back, and people. So, so basically, from what I heard, from my entertainment friends, from my entertainment friends, like they, they, my fans was hitting them up, asking them where, where you I was were, at. where you were. I think I might have hit a couple people up too. <laughs> I was cracking up. I was cracking up like Dale. Like, Okay, so let me just um... memorable. You're memorable in a sea of people doing it. You're memorable. We always like even your content was done to such excellence. Like it just it was so good. It gave us what we needed to where it wasn't just the act of being an adult entertainment. It was the act of you. It was you. And that's the thing. And, and what you said is very, very true, because meditation is something that I do. And I've also had 15 years of therapy. And, you know, that also helps because, you know, you have to discuss the traumas and you have to discuss what happened in your life and where you want to be. And all of these things have helped me to become the powerhouse that I am today. And I, like you said, that you have several businesses. I do too. I'm, I'm in music. I, I mentor. I, you know, I do a lot of different things. And, and you're right. The, the entire 
um, underlying point of it is self-empowerment, self-love, authenticity, self-actualization. Those types of things, they really matter. And you're right. When you get into those things, you start moving differently. So now I'm glad that we're right. talking and I understand why you're moving the way that you're moving because you had a spiritual awakening. You're like, oh, you know, this is, I'm more than just what these people see. I am a whole being and I need right. to be treated as such. I need to live as such. And let's face it, we all work as hard as we do because we don't want to have to run off to somebody's job where they undervalue us. You know, like we want mm -hmm. people to take us seriously. And a lot of us in entertainment have really big hearts. We want to be able to help people. We want to be able to give. We want to be able to do. And that is why, you know, spiritual awakening is so important. It's so important. And I love yeah, what you is. said. I love what you said. And you brought this out. And I, I'm so glad we got it on film is because you're right. Breath control. Me as a singer, I have four albums out. And it's like breath control is everything, power. everything. It, it is, it, it, exactly. It's the power of the, you, you can't do anything. Sing, breathe, speak, talk, laugh, nothing without the proper breath control. And that was, some, that was something that I learned before I even put my first album out in therapy. They would always make me deep breathe. They would always make me feel that breath deep inside, all the way down, exactly. like feel it through every single muscle, every limb, like, like your breath, your, they don't even understand, your breath can regulate your blood flow. It can, it can yes, yes. It can do that. You can, you can actually change your DNA that way too. Yes, yes. Like, like, so basically like, I got to the point when I meditate now that I, I have out of body experiences now. Uh huh. Um, I, I have that, that a lot. Like I get to the point where like I can like literally astral. I can literally astral project myself and like I can can physically see a body. Yes. It's just it's just there. It's just like sleep. Yeah. Um, I lucid dreaming, etc. But basically, one thing that people don't don't comprehend about that is it's like when you are having a lucid dream. You are are actually your your mind's awake. Your, yes. Your your mind's awake. Your body sleep. Yeah. But base but basically one but basically one thing that like I learned that basically nobody will basically teach you because basically they went the power in talking to yourself is like right. you can also unlock doors when you are are in that state of mind like basically like. So, so basically, right, let's say you were trying to get the next emotion. Yeah. If you lose a dream, you basically will comprehend what, you basically will, will comprehend what you need to do and what doors, what doors need, what doors need to be open for you to achieve a goal. Yeah. And I realized that at a young age, now I'm a millionaire. So, so like, yeah. it's like, so like it's like the more people that realize about their spiritual side, yeah, that basically that basically that the government wants to shut out. Yeah, that, that's why they, that's why that's why the government basically tried to block our penal gland, like with like the lead, like with lead and water, the yeah. fluoride, the the fluoride in the toothpastes. Yeah. And blase blase. So like there's a lot of things that like yes that, that are done people, to suppress. Mm hmm. No, I'm you're right. Fine. You're right. No, you're absolutely. And you know what's so funny? You're absolutely right because I'm a shaman. So I know these things in practice. I do these with my okay. clients. Yeah, I know these with my clients. I do it with my clients. Oracle, shaman, prophet, seer, healer. I got all of that going on. But the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the thing was, you're right. It didn't really um, enact in me until I was able to meditate, lucid dream, you know, those things. Because like, mm. like sometimes even when I am... Um, like you said, I'll be sitting here and pff, my gifts are crazy. They're, they're crazy to me, but like, like, what was it the other, the other night? Like I can hear like people that like, I've had people speaking to me and they're like, oh, I lost my loved one. And this is that and the other, and their loved one will speak to me. And I'm like, what's the significance? Okay. I'm like, what's the significance of this? And then I say this to them and they're like, how do you know that? And I'm like, 
because I can hear your loved one there talking to me. And, you know, and my, my clients, they understand because they come to me for that. They're like, okay. You know, everybody else is like, oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with this person. But no, like. That, that's a strong gift you have though. Yeah. Like, I've had it all my life. powerful gift. I had it, I've had it all, like, Griffey, all my life. And because, like you said, not just with the fluoride or with the lead, with the way you live and what you eat. You know, mm. like I had to let go of religion because I was being taught something that was completely contrary to the way my mind and my spirit worked. So once I had to get, yeah. So once I got that out of the way, it was like my, I was able to return to the naturalness of my spirituality. And that's what's so funny because I hear people all the time, well, you're not Christian. And I'm like, baby, we weren't Christians in Africa. We weren't Christians in Africa. We were, that wasn't our religion. Lord, no. you do not, you do not want me to go <laughs> spiritual. Uh, I like to talk here because I can put some facts up in here and we will go on and on. I'm trying to tell you this now. Like, especially by, especially about the black culture. Like, I can go right. deep in that and the people, and then got people like, what? I'm like, yes, Sean, yes. <laughs> Let I'm me, not gonna do it to you. you. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it to you, but but I but I love this is the fact that people don't understand entertainment is a gateway. A lot of powerful, powerful, powerful spiritual people are in entertainment because it is a it's like water. It's a way to reach a lot of people very quickly very quickly and like even with these like the, you, you film and stuff because it's able you're able to see millions of people millions of people come across mm -hmm. this information and what you start doing is you start unlocking minds that's what I've been doing for the last six years with my content it's just unlocking minds, one video at a time, unlocking minds. And I loved it because I didn't necessarily have to stay there with them. I planted the seed and the seed mm. and the seed grew. And then they kept coming back to me, listening to me through social media. So then that was just me watering their seeds and, and it just sprouted. And now I get all these people, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I'm like, good, good. One thing, man, one thing, I'm going to say is I'm going to keep you in my prayers. Yes. Because of so, right? Because this is why I'm saying this, because people like us that basically want to wake up the world. Yes. We. It's dangerous. Uh, it's very good because people yeah. like Nipsey. Like, yeah. Like Nipsey. Yes. Nipsey. Nipsey was trying to wake up the whole world. Yep. Killed. Yep. Now, um. What, what the hell's his name? I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Martin Luther King, the same yeah. thing. Um, Dr. Cousin again, Dr. So Soji. Yes. Yes. I got, uh, I like, his name? One. Yeah, I forget his name, but you're I know which one you're talking about. He had the cure yeah. different things. They yeah, they they killed him. He had a cure to HIV and yeah. AIDS. You know <laughs> how many people he would have had cured in yeah. the damn world? Yeah. That was a big thing. And, and basically. The government don't want that. They want yeah. to. They want to control the population. Yep. It, it, and, and my thing yeah. is this: you mean to tell me you have a pill that can stop you from contracting it, but you don't have a cure? But you have a pill that can stop me from contracting it if I'm exposed to it, but you don't have a cure? Something right? That's just you know they, that's the way that. Oh, so base. Oh, so basically, the reason why I said that is because, like, once I started to reach out and started to basically talk about my spiritual side more, mm -hmm. I started noticing a lot of demons come at yes towards me. Yes, um, it, like I had the Illuminati come in my inbox, yes. like literally come in my inbox, like literally the Illuminati. Like I would like it was like I swear at like the official page, like. Oh, something of them, and they were trying to recruit me, and I'm like, oh, uh, uh, look, shawty. So, so <laughs> listen, I, 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 like, I found blase blase, but basically, after that, that that pin at a target, that pin at target, right? They target. Like, I started noticing. Mm -hmm. They target like, and I started noticing mm -hmm. a lot of things. Like, I started noticing a lot of Freemasons. Yeah. I started noticing like they started to pop up more. Yeah. Like um in my life. And like 
It's like, Lord, please guard me. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? I'm not afraid. I have a song on my on my um, first album, and it's called Illuminati, and it basically is me saying, "I will always have what I need. I don't belong to you. I will never belong to you. Mm -hmm. I come from I come from an all powerful, all seeing, all knowing source. That's not you. So you." have no, they can't stand in my way. And that, and that's the crazy thing because I've been doing this work, like we're talking, unlocking minds for six years now. And I, I had a lot of opposition. There were people in Hollywood, I can't call names yet because the lawsuit is still trying to go, you know, the damage lawsuit we're still building. But a lot of people tried to do a lot of things behind the, the scenes to where it was tampered with, just all kinds of things. I was hacked and just all kinds of stuff trying to stop me from coming out into the public light. But like I said, it, it, it changed me. My meditation changed me my bipolar disorder became a superpower to me because after I got the medicine and the therapy, it became an, an insurmountable amount of energy. I don't get tired. So yeah. now I sleep how I'm supposed to, but when I work, I do just amazing, amazing feats and I don't get tired and I've been doing them the last six years. And I don't, I don't, I've ne I haven't been hospitalized. I haven't had a need for hospitalization. I see my doctors, I actually see my doctor this coming Thursday and everything is in balance. All my chemicals, cause you know, that can be, it can lead to a chemical imbalance. So, you know, all of my chemicals are in balance. So I'm truly just doing what I was here, put here to do. It's my purpose. It's my destiny. And, and mm -hmm. it's so crazy because like my, my grandmother, she's a devout Christian and she talks about demons all the time. And I just look at her and listen because I don't fear beings that are lower than me, not people, beings. Demons are lower than me. So right. I, I don't, I don't fear them. I've seen them. I've had conversations with them. Yeah. And my, yes. And my attitude is, and, and what's so crazy is with me being tapped into the divine, which is an infinite source, I, uh -huh. re I recognize that even demons have a role to play. So when mm -hmm. they come to me, like even when they come to me and yes, I can see them. So now everybody going, no, oh God, I see angels and I see demons. I see devils. Yes, I do. So when a demon or- I do too, so don't feel bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> so look, if they go, they go crucify you, they go crucify me. So, but the thing is, I don't advise them to try. I'm very powerful. But this is the thing. It's my light too bright. Like, right? Listen, I don't advise them to try. Listen, right? I don't advise them to try. Listen, I don't advise them to try. I don't advise them to try. Because my thing is, even when I'm doing my work, and, and, de and demons never come alone. So they come. And it's so crazy because in my presence, when I'm doing spiritual work or light work, they'll stand into the darkness. And I will have my eyes closed. But like you said, with astral projection, I can see my entire surrounding, even though my eyes are closed and you don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything. I feel you walk up. Mm -hmm. so, yes. So I will open my eyes, look at them and say, what is your message? That's how I treat them. And then they tell me their message and I say, go, they leave. Literally to me, they are messengers. And see what we're talking about, I have not revealed in my music yet, but that's even what my music does. And what I do is I'm the type of person where I don't really tour and perform because I'm the type of person where if I'm on stage, nothing can, can move in the room. I need complete silence. I need complete stillness because I feel, mm -hmm. every, single, I feel every single being in the room. Like I feel every single being. And that's from my, my prophetic anointing. I can see and feel like every single being. So if they move, it breaks my concentration. So I'm like, so I'm literally one of them crazy artists where it's like, all right, I'm gonna sing this song. Y'all stay, y'all stay seated. And then if you need to go to the restroom, when I'm done, I'll pause and wait for y'all to come back. Like I'm one of those. And, and you know what I, what, what we're also talking about too? Freedom in finances gives you the ability to live your life the way you want to. It, mm -hmm. it gives you the ability to 
be spiritual and to open the door and be full throttle with it when you don't have to run off to nobody's job and you ain't got to run off to nobody. And my grandmother did that for me. Now, mind you, she's a Christian, but she did it for me and set it up and gave me my capital and my seed money that allowed me to be able to sit in my place and do what I do and not have to run off or do this or be interfere, have interference. And it was one of the greatest gifts she could ever give me. Because now I'm a, I'm a full, I've been a full-time, I've been a full-time artist for 15 years now. 15. Oh, that's right. Yes. And get this. It was so bad that even last year I broke up with my following because I was like, listen, y'all haven't patronized that one business. Y'all haven't bought not one t-shirt, not one nothing. And I let them know you're in the seats that my paying customers need to be in. But then they yeah. don't, but, but also they don't realize, but I bought this hair. I bought this, I bought this makeup. I bought these contacts. I bought, yeah, I, I'm fine. I'd like exactly. to move to the next level, but I'm fine. And I'm gonna be fine. As long as I do this, I'm gonna be fine. But I was telling them your audience participation is required. Don't just sit here and gawk at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like don't just sit here and gawk at me. Are you crazy? Hit that cash app. Are you nuts? <laughs> the cash app, the cash app, the Venmo is something. Right? Something. And, and the real ones, the real ones do. The real ones do it. I'm playing with hair, hair follicles. No, but the real ones do. Like, I, and I just, I laugh because I'll, I'll say that and then I look and they're like, oh, you have a cash app from such and such. I'm like, oh, all right, y'all hear me. Because don't just gawk at me. I'm doing mighty, mighty work. And, and what I love is it sounds like you're doing the same thing. And now you're in a position where you're getting ready to touch even more lives by teaching, mm. by teaching. And what I realized is I didn't become a millionaire with my music. I became a millionaire mentoring people through the hardships, through the things that they thought they could never see themselves through, the things that they thought would never go away, demons and not being able to get rid of them. Oh, they keep Oh, crying. oh, and another thing about, <laughs> about the demons. So that's another reason why I stopped doing OnlyFans, because basically <laughs> uh, with me being spiritually uh, awake, like I, Feel vibrations like basically one thing about me i can see your true self like ding, ding. like like firstly like, i can see your true self so basically a lot of times a lot of people that was that's in the industry they know yeah they know exactly yeah. what they're doing yep. they know exactly what they're doing so yep. basically like kind of one time but like i was i was at some kickback and like this one guy was like standing, like standing, like like was standing, like kind of standing, like kind of off. Yeah. But like basically, like I was seeing his lips move. Yeah. So I'm sitting here, like, so I'm sitting here wondering what the hell <laughs> is he saying. He he was speaking in tongue. Uh huh. Uh huh. So. So basically, when he's speaking a tongue, I was capturing ev almost everything that saying. he was saying. Yeah, and he was a demon. Yeah, and keep in mind, he's a content creator. Yeah, everybody knows him. I'm not saying who, but everybody yeah. knows him. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> listen, I got a couple of demons I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, real serious, real serious. I, I got a couple. Listen, I got a couple. They've tried to stop me. I, I started. I started to i started to speak in tongue yeah and i, I started to, to speak in tongue and started to do like my meditation yeah when i tell you yeah, when I, like when i did like when i tell you that he made eye contact directly with me because yeah. direct, direct me at, at the left yeah yeah like i was i was to the like lord keep all these demons like away from me because he was a demon. Like I felt the negative spirit coming from him. Like I felt all the negativity, like literally every bit of it. it then like I'm saying, like bro, you have to go. So like I started to oh, uh, started started to uh talking tongue, and I guess that made him very, very uncomfortable, and he just scattered. But you know what it is? Human beings don't realize that there are other things on this planet than just us. That's always an issue. 
shapeshifters, yeah. um, demons. Yeah stuff on this planet and they're able to take on flesh and 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 get it christians always get mad at me when i say that but i'm like sweetie the bible told you about the nephilims they were the sons of god they were angels they came down they took on flesh and they started sleeping with the women and they made giants so what makes you think that oh it only happened then you don't think it's still going on like I, a lot of yeah people's logic to me <laughs> people's logic god told you about it to let you know what was happening not like oh it was a one-time thing and no he's telling you what's going on he's telling you what's going on like now yes yeah, like right now <laughs> I, I mean one thing I mean, one thing that gets me about everybody is that what they show the movies is actually what's going on in real life yeah. but people think but people think that's actually acting but like no. here's me because like um i saw what's the movie called a get out okay when i saw that like it like literally my subconscious my self-conscious was working like oh shit they they showing this now right <laughs> but basically yeah but basically right but, but yeah, but basically right to everybody else, like it's like, oh yeah, it's a good movie, bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, like this, like they showing you everything that they are doing to us. Like, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm not trying to you. get back to the spiritual again, but they don't listen, like, they don't 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 overwork yourself because they'll get it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, have mercy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it it is something because the world would rather stay asleep. But uh, I'm here, you're here. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just gonna keep ringing the alarm. Wake up, wake up, all of you. I'm, up. Gonna, I'm definitely gonna keep pushing. Yeah, we have to, we have to. Um, but you know, I got, but you know what's so funny? I got, I got where I got to in my career, not because of my talent, but because of my awareness. Like I knew what was going on behind the scenes of humanity. And knowing that, that kept the tree, please. These, my haters in Hollywood, they tried to do everything. They tried to throw the kitchen sink at me, Drippy. And I stayed one, two, three steps ahead of them. First of all, that's highly weird. Yeah. I don't know why years. people are saying Hollywood, that's highly weird. Yeah, 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 highly uh, weird. Yeah, that's the devil's playground. Like, come on now. Like, you I'm, know that. I'm not interested in Hollywood. I'm taking my ass overseas. I'm not interested in Hollywood. <laughs> no, no, I'm not interested. No, no. <laughs> like some people, oh, well, did you do this now? You'll have leverage. No, this ain't leverage. I told somebody two, two days ago, this ain't leverage. This is the career. This is what I do. This is what I do. I'm not trying to go do nothing that they do. I do what I do. And what I do, I do. And I've had them try to steal my trademarks, all kinds of stuff and be unsuccessful. They're unsuccessful because the divine set this up. The divine showed me how to do. They always, I say that in my advertisements when I'm like trying to be like trying to get new clients. I tell them I had nobody, but that the truth mm -hmm. of the matter is I had the divine showing me step by step what to do under attack when I was under attack, what to do. But I'm like, I had nobody, but you guys have me now book me. Like that's what I'm doing now. Cause it's <laughs> like, I had nobody, but now you have me. I, now you book me so I can help you get through it quicker, faster, and in a hurry. And they and they book me, Drippy, they book me. And I'm, I'm successful at it. I'm successful at it because I lived it. It's what I do. Spirit, mm -hmm. spirit, work, spirit work is what I was put here for. The entertainment is so funny. I'm a soprano. I have a beautiful singing voice. But um, that's not all that there is to me. Okay, so basically, you think that you put here to heal people or teach? My thing is, I'm here. So look at this. Somebody asked me this question. What I do, and, and, and let's not confuse it. You know, we're all on our paths of life. Mm -hmm. What I do is not change anyone's perspective or change their mind. I liken it to a video game. Do you remember the game Sonic the Hedgehog? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I played that game. I loved that game as a kid. What I do, what I do is you're on your path to your destiny, your purpose. All I do is say, hey, 
grab them golden rings. Jump up, grab them golden rings. Now continue on your way. Exactly. You see, I'm not um, here to change, alter, stop, show you a new way. I'm not here for all of that. I'm here to help you be enhanced on your already journey. Don't you? I tell them, don't come to me looking for me to start your journey. You need to be on your journey to a better self. And then while you're on your journey to being a better self, then I say, oh, there's a one up over there. There's an extra life right there. Just jump up, get it, and, and keep going. See, that's the thing. You know, you get people that, oh, follow me because I have the answers. No, I don't have the answers. No, I don't. But spirit will say things to me like, you know, while I'm on the road and I'm, I'm walking with someone and they're like, I don't understand why this happened. This is that and the other happened. I'm able to say it happened because of X, Y, and Z. And now look at where you are and where you're going. And now you have this skill. You can do this. You can do that. And they're looking at me like, oh my God. And it's like, yeah, that's what I'm here for. I'm not here to deter or change or make people follow me. I said that in a post this morning because I, I have a blue verification badge on Instagram. And I, and I in my post, I said, it's not about your blue verification Insta, uh, badge. It's not about I your- I saw that badge. actually. Yeah, it's not about your views. It's not about your likes. It's about your work ethic. Because see, right. my power, my metaphysical ability is nothing if you don't work. If you don't work, it don't matter what I do. It's not going to happen. And then you're going to look at me and say, I'm a fraud and I'm a fake and I'm a charlatan because nothing happened when you came to me. But you I didn't do like, anything. I, like one thing that I tell people, because people ask me all the time, how they got become a billionaire. Like, yeah. I'll be like, I'll be like, you have to put something that you have to, you have to plant the seed and keep on yes. working towards that shit. Like basically, because like there's people that try to get me to help to this people, this people that this people that try to get me to help them start the business, right? Right. But but they but they do not have no damn foundation, like right, like no blueprint, like right. like physically, the business like, plan, <laughs> like physically, like physically. Show me exactly. <laughs> show me exactly what. Show me exactly what this business is like like basically like basically your business plan should say say your business should say we will do this we will operate this way and we will serve our clients this way this way and that way and if you don't if you invest this is when you get your money back you got to show me all that exactly Exactly, because this one person asked me, "Can I invest like half a million, right?" No, Drippy, don't you give your money away? Look, 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 look. He look. said, "Look, look, look." <laughs> so I thought about it, right? Yeah. So right here's me. Your business plan, what? So he told me, but it's not, but it's not written down. He told me, oh. he told me, he, he told me, he told me, right? But like, it was not. It was not. Basically, like, so basically, I asked him certain questions, and like, he did not know the answer to it, or didn't know where he wants to go with right. this, and so that made me feel very uncomfortable giving right. you half a million dollars to start a business, right? And not knowing that you will, because basically, one thing like I'm gonna do is the next few years, I won't go on Shark Tank. Yeah, that's one of my goals, but. I'm not that rich yet, but yeah. like, I'm <laughs> like, I ain't there and yet. Also, don't like, let them take up all your business either. Cause you know, you go on there, they like, we want 70% of the business. I'm like, oh, we'll back you. Be careful. Cause Shark Tank will be, they say they'll back you, but then they want 70, 70, 80% of your business. And then that means they have the controlling stock, which means they can shut it down. They ain't taking my damn business. <laughs> See? They're not taking that. See? Not, neither now, we haven't, now we having an entrepreneur to entrepreneur conversation. Because I'm like, like, that was the thing. I, I knew my brand. Like, my thing is, being a shaman, I knew that my brand was good. But like you said, the divine did not allow me to come into my own until those answers, those questions were answered, Drippy. What are you doing? Where's your business plan? What will you do? What will it be? Like that, like all of those things had to, to be in place. Now, mind you, most people don't understand that before you even get a business plan, you're more than likely you're working your business already. And you should exactly. be before you even have the business plan. But so my thing is that doesn't cut people out. 
But while you're working it, while you're working it, while you're seeing it be successful, write the business plan so that you can get to the next level. And that's the thing, the next level. You, this thing is about height and depth. And it's like, you got to work to get to the next level. And most people are like, oh, well, I got what I wanted. Da, 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 da. And it's like, like I tell people all the time, like I laugh. I, listen, I got people that try me all the time, Drippy. And I laugh because I'm like, I'm, I do, Drippy, because it's like 15, I'm like, listen, 15 seconds. You know how they say five minutes, five seconds of fame or 15 minutes of pain. I say 15 minutes of fame versus 40 years of success. I'm about longevity. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not in a hurry to do nothing, not a damn thing. It will get done when it gets done. And that's the thing. You have so many people now, these, these celebrities, I'll call them, that are popping up now everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And they're not understanding. Most of the ones that really, really are doing something business-wise, they don't have a lot of followers. They're not verified. They don't have all of that, but what they have is a successful business, successful brand, maybe, maybe missing marketing. Cause I do that too. I'm like, okay, I can help you market. But those, the people that are really successful, they're not flashy. You don't know. You don't see you're a millionaire sitting here in an NYC shirt. You ain't, you ain't come to this. <laughs> you didn't come to this in Gucci and this and that. No, no, no. That's not how you do it. Trust me, like, I told people that all the time, like, if you're wearing, like, all this and that, you're basically showing that you're broke, basically, because basically, yeah. there's this, I mentor, I mentor, he's a billionaire. Yeah. When I tell you, the only jewelry he has on is, like, his gold necklace. Yeah. One that has sentimental value to him. And yeah, because basically that necklace, I believe his mother gave it to him before he died. I mean, um, before she died. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, that's the only thing. You see, you see him, you see him, him out of public. You would never know he's a billionaire. That's the same. He drives, he that's drives the S class Benz, and that's it. Yes. And, which is which is uh, pretty common. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, but but basically, right? Like I'm trying to. Basically, all right. So basically, like I have a patent, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And and the thing is, nobody even knows what it's looked like because basically, nobody knows what a patent is. I do. I have trademarks. <laughs> four. <laughs> I have four. But, <laughs> if you got a patent, that's serious. That means that's something that yeah, that's serious. Congratulations. Yeah, because yeah, I just mentioned the like that I have that um that I am working on. Yes. And that's what and that's what I'm trying to tell people is like if you have a idea, get a motherfucking patent. Yeah. Just literally get a patent is really, I mean, it literally what they're gonna protect you from everything there yes. is. Like yes. uh, but because basically people talk about their ideas to everybody. Yes. Everybody and, and they are not signing, not signing and no not signing and no the puzzle form. Yeah. Or nothing like that. Like they are basically ideas. Their ideas out. People steal ideas, especially from black people. Especially from black people. We created so much shit <laughs> in this dad going and we created so much shit in, in the yeah, matrix. Right? Yeah, but the white man don't. Yeah, but yeah, basically the white man keeps on trying to make it seem like we are worth nothing. We it's created not the first trader stoplight. This um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so many daggone things that we have created, like especially daggone electricity. Yeah, you really think what's the thing? <laughs> that that man did not. Um, um, Einstein did not daggone find no daggone uh, electricity <laughs> first. I'm sorry to say this. Right. <laughs> no, it's a lot of things that black people have forfeited, and and the reason why Drippy is because. Um, they don't want to put the money down. They would rather spend it on being flashy instead of for years, for years, I set and copyrighted and trademarked all of these different areas and aspects of my business, my name, my pseudonym, everything, every single word that I spoke on the camera in every single one of my videos that I scripted myself, 22,000, 
copyrighted. I wrote it. It's mine. Somebody said, I never hear anybody steal any of your lines because they can't. They can't. Everything I ever said, I own. And But you have so many people that want to keep up with the Joneses or with the next person. Oh, I'm not nothing if I don't have a new outfit on and going out this weekend. Th let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I got <laughs> me. I'm two spirited. So I have a masculine spirit and a feminine spirit. One half of my room, I got all my dresses, all my wigs, all my makeup, everything. Other half of my room, I got all my boy clothes, all my track suits, Adidas, Nike, all this other stuff. I don't wear any of that. It's mine. I'm not giving it away. I got brand new shoes. I got boots from London. You know, I got a lot of things you don't see me in. I literally go outside in these. My SpongeBob freaking flip -flippers. Oh, those are tough. Thank you. I got, I got them overseas. <laughs> Everybody loves them. Everybody loves them. But wintertime, snow, rain, I'm wearing those. That's what I wear. Like, you would never know. Like, just, what was it? I did an interview uh, two weeks ago, and I was laughing to keep from crying because with me being in fashion, I was interviewing other people in fashion, and one of the designers was like, hey, I'm going to send you this priceless couture outfit. And I'm like, and my thing is, I'm in fashion, so I'm like, do you know how much this outfit costs to make? And I'm like, it's got, it's uh, like, $10. Let me tell you something. <laughs> like like 10, 15 dollars. No, thousands. Because you know, with couture, it takes, oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. with couture, it takes six months, eight months to make it because it's handmade with all the embroidered stones and child. I like I'm I'm scared to, I'm scared to wear it. I'm scared. <laughs> like, honestly, I think I'm gonna get a safe deposit box. Like I think really I do. I think I'm gonna just put it in a safe deposit box. Because that's what you dress. put, yeah, like, yeah, because, yeah, like, I, yeah, because, and that's the Lord thing, because, yeah, because the thing is, to the laymen, you know, they don't know what it, what it is, and that's another thing about business, when you're in your field, you can see something, and nobody, somebody looking at it won't know what it is, but because it's your field, you know how expensive it is. And that's how fashion is. You'll turn around and you'll see something. That you'll be like, oh, those are some ugly boots and don't know them boots was $5,000. And it's like, but that's because those people, that's the way those people move. So it was my first piece of priceless couture. I have never worn couture before, even as a model in Paris for six months, never wore couture. So for him to give it to me, I'm literally gonna put the dress in. I'm gonna put the dress in a safe deposit box because it ain't got no business being in here. It ain't got, no, it ain't got no business being in here. It ain't got no business in here. Like, why not just get, just buy a mannequin, then just put it, a mannequin, then, then, you know, it's just because, like, because put it. Up. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why, Drippy. Because I'm recording this for the public. I don't want no bitch to try me because they didn't hear me say, oh, it's in my house. So no, I'm not, I don't want nobody to break into my house, Drippy. That's why I'm glad that nobody knows. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm getting a safe deposit box. It. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a safe deposit box. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna just put, and literally I'm gonna just put the dress in there. I'm gonna open it, see it beautiful. I'm gonna try it on and then literally fold it up and put it back. Like literally, that's that kind of you, with that kind of stuff you need a vault for. And and my living arrangement doesn't allow right. me to have that kind of vault yet. You said that like that costs how much again? It cost it about five thousand five to anywhere up to anywhere up from five to eight to nine thousand dollars. And that's just the top. There's a bottom to it. So it's just like I wish that I could show you my closet because oh, don't do it, don't do it. You got niggas watching. Be, don't do it, Drippy. Don't do it, Drippy. Because my ass have suits <laughs> that's like five thousand, ten thousand. Exactly, suits. exactly, suits. <laughs> exactly. But exactly, 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 exactly. And the fact that it's handmade and see for me, I know what that means. Haute couture is a dying art in fashion because people just aren't that rich anymore. Like they're just not that rich or they're not spending on those kinds of things anymore. So mm -hmm. I, this is a piece of history that the aristocrat art. Yeah. So it's like, I'm putting that shit in a safe deposit box. It won't even be in this house one day. It won't even be in this house one day. <laughs> nope, drippy, it won't. It won't. Drippy. No, he ain't trying me. Cause I'm also, I'm also the bitch that nobody gonna rob. Cause I'm not giving up shit. I fought for everything in my in my life. I'm not giving up nothing. So no, so. One That's thing it. that one thing one thing that people should know about black people is you you 
Look, good thing is like you might be able to get in, but you ain't getting out. Get out. <laughs> you ain't getting out. That's what they about black people. Yeah, you, you ain't getting out. You ain't getting out. You ain't getting Cause, out. Right, because right, because right, because right, because like, because right, because like, it's either the dog, yeah, it's either the dog, or yep. they say you no, know, I'm shooting it. At you yes. from upstairs. Yep. It's, 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 it's similar as that. Like, don't try me. Right. Drip, drippy, you a man after my own heart because I believe in guns, honey. I believe in guns. I believe in guns. Like, and that's the thing. Like, for me, see, for me, I like when I was younger, okay, because I'm 39. So I'll be 40 this year. When I was younger, I've been in entertainment 20 years. When I was younger, I sought fame because I had never really had success in my life. So it was a way for, for me to take and say to everybody, yeah, I made it. Yeah, I'm successful. But as I got older and the fame started to become, we need to know all of your business. We want to know what you're wearing. We want to know what you have. We want to know where you are. It, it became very terrifying to where fame does not interest me at all today and I have it and and it's just getting bigger and it's just like no like to the point where that's why I love the fact of moving out of the country because it's like it won't be so much like here they sensationalize celebrity but they will tell you in this country the people that are famous are not rich and the people that are rich are not famous that's how are, are you talking about in the U.S. yeah in the oh, yeah, U.S. Yeah. Yeah. You will like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, there's celebrities and rappers that look like they're rich, but they're not. Right. It's, a, it's all an illusion. Smoking mirrors. Yeah. Smoke there's, mirrors. There, like, I can name a few celebrities. That... Don't name them. Don't name them, Drippy. Don't name them. Because I know you don't. I know oh, you no, know no, 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 no. Don't name them. I know you know oh, everybody. No, no, no. You don't let everybody. Like, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. There's a few celebrities that I know that they fake that they got it, but basically the house is like some millionaire yeah you know and yeah like some millionaire house that they yeah their rent is being rented by their label yes it's being rented by their label yeah for them mm -hmm. to stay there the car the clothes the chains yes it is all smoke and mirrors i knew that coming in that was one of my hardest things lessons i had to learn in, in paris i i take and get there and i'm like oh my god i came over here for this and and realized it was not it wasn't no glamour glamour what are you talking about? Glamour, glitz. It's like I it's like I said. It's a job. It's like I said. Like I think, I think I cheated this too. Like I said, I said social media. You can be whoever the the fuck you want to be. <laughs> right. Literally, you can, you can make Trump. it, honey. You can make you a can whole life. Obama. <laughs> literally, literally. Like I think I seen this. Mm, damn, it, it all gotta be followed. Say no names. <laughs> no, but basically, like once I start to describe it, like everybody will, will basically know. No, don't say that to Land Drippy. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. That's too messy. But um <laughs> it just be <laughs> somebody called. He's a businessman, so we gotta give him a moment. Somebody didn't call it on his phone. Yeah. My sister. <laughs> My sister. I'll get this. That's well get this. Is. I'm gonna run anyway, because. Uh, believe it or not, our time is up. So, so oh, really? you, yes, <laughs> you're like, oh, really? So we were, see, right before you out of some people, see, right before you out of some people, I know how to get out of here. So, <laughs> yeah. that's, so one, that's, <laughs> trust me, that's, that's one thing I don't do is out people. Like, I can right. not share about everything. Right, listen, uh, let me get, as, a, as an entrepreneur that you are, give me three words that inspire you. Three words that inspire me? Innovation. Uh-huh, elevation. No, innovation. Oh, okay, okay. Innovation, okay. Wisdom. Wisdom. I say God. Yeah. Oh, well, God, God first. Get <laughs> my last interview said God, too. You're the second person that said God to me today. Yeah, because, because one thing that I say is, like, even though that I am spiritual, I still believe, I still believe in a higher form yes. of power. Me too. Like, Me too. like, like somebody had created this whole damn universe. Yes. Somebody it did. wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. So, which means, like, so respect is due. Yeah. Exactly. So basically, like, I still respect God. Yeah. Like the yeah. alpha, the daggone. Omega. And yes. Omega. 
Yeah. Like, I, I respect everything. Yeah. So basically, like, I still thank God for everything. Yeah. Tell everyone where they can find you periodically because you disappear. Tell everybody where they can find you on social media. No, I'm going to stay around more. Like, I just won't. I just won't be tweeting as much. Like, I say, I'm going to cut to like to like do something. I just want to leave it now. I just won't be tweeting much. But basically, you can find me at OG Drippy at OG D R I P D Y. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so. I got it down somewhere. I, 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 listen, I got it. I'll put it in a. I'll put it in the description section. Thank you so much for talking to me. I had an amazing, amazing time, and we talked some real serious things. So, be ready. Yeah, for we some- definitely did. <laughs> we did. We talked. We 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 thought this was gonna be light. We we talked about demons and devils and God and angels and we went deep in this right today. Right. We went deep we in were, here. Right. <laughs> we, went, we went real deep in here, but it makes sense, Drip. It makes sense. It makes it sense. Does. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard the vocal stylings of Mr. Drippy. (laughs) Say goodbye, (laughs) but don't hang up. Say goodbye. All right, y'all.